like it's not that i just go ahead and you know present something and go on talking and you just listening because that way definitely not works in the current generation of ai definitely because we are already advanced so uh, what i meant to say is uh, in between if you have any questions you can definitely stop and ask me wherever you feel uh, uncomfortable related to the topic but in case if you uh, you know uh, it's not mean that i know everything but in case if if i'm going uh, on any topic and you want to add anything from your and where uh, might you uh, face in your experience so you can add that too so that uh, it's a collaborative effort everyone will get a knowledge okay uh, right then let me share my screen Okay, is the screen visible? Yes, Shashwatar. Yeah. Visible, but we can't read. Okay, sorry. Let me increase the font size. Uh, I'll make it this full screen. How about how about now, Sai? Better. Okay. It's better. So, It's better. Yeah. Good. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not creating any PPTs or uh, a, you know a, a, a theory classes of sessions like uh, in every skipper we do. We are just trying to make it very simple and uh, you know easy going. So just before going to the topic, our today's topic is business analytics with Excel. So. uh let me break into that topic like what exactly uh, today we are going to deal with is what is the business and how we are going to deal the business with some analytics uh, with an tool called excel which is most popular you know in any it industry uh, not even in it industry but every it's it's a myth that like you know it's it's a uh, uh, this one uh, that excel has to know by every one who is who know computer because it's it's a part of our daily life we do a lot of calculations from uh, maybe uh, grocery list to uh, your bigger calculations everything excel will include definitely now uh, you know in recent excel we uh, can see that you know uh, chat gpt also included uh, which is an an add in section we definitely going to discuss that too but uh, before going that let us understand what exactly analytics is so analytics is something which is really uh, you know deal with cleaning uh, preparation and visualization of data so what exactly that mean of uh, cleaning and preparation of visualization means uh, let's suppose i have a excel sheet which uh, is of some um, buying bikers and this is completely clumsy if you see that uh, uh, it just a group of text where uh, with a table so that i have to take some decisions based upon this text but uh, if i present the same thing to my client or business leaders will they definitely will not uh, you know accept this because they don't want to uh, run through all this uh, stuff so what we going to do is we make it visualize in the form of uh, pictorial representation like what i did here if you see uh, uh, comparing to this uh, you know information in a, in a table form this is something which looks good and uh, it gives you uh, a very uh, great information even if he is a layman like if if he is not known anything related to this what we are talking but he can understand that okay uh, this is the trend what it is going based upon the visualization so that is what we're going to cover today like uh, once you are getting some data uh, raw data you going to clean the data uh, you going to prepare some uh, really valuable inputs and then make it visualize so that whenever you go to your client or business manager or project manager it should be very appealing so that's the part of uh, uh, you know the cleaning preparation and visualization in business analytics so if I, if i further break this one you can see the uh, definition like uh, this is something process of transforming data into insights 
to improve business decisions like uh, let let me suppose uh, take a you know scenario like sales is doing you know multiple projects right so we've been into this industry from last 7 years uh, we started our journey as a product then we uh, you know uh, converted to you know service based now we are uh, uh, doing both product and service based so with if i take this last 7 years of data what you can really understand is how we improved you know how we uh, you know mold ourselves from different product related or data related uh, or the service related uh, informations so these all i can put in some visual representation using uh, you know excel uh, excel thing that's what here we call as business analytics where i'm i'm just uh, you know pulling all the seven years of data and showing uh, the business manager or ceo that what are the trends and what uh, or what are the improvements we can do uh, to stay in the industry current industry or what are the uh, improvisations we can do so that we can increase our revenue we can increase our team size growth etc so that is what all we deal with is business analytics so we uh, coming to the benefits of business analytics uh, we can take data driven decisions uh, which covers everything like profit uh, or net growth or the team size increasing of projects everything easy visualization which i already um, informed like even if the layman can also understand easily what exactly we are talking about even if he is not related to our particular domain and modeling the what if scenario uh, so data uh, the business analytics don't stop with the uh, solution like you have a data you created some visual pics you uh, you know shown to your business manager and given insights uh, and you have some answers what uh, to the questions whatever he ask but what about uh, you know more information if you want to pull from the particular uh, data which uh, came from excel like uh, that's what the data scientist do like data scientist is something where they particularly concentrate on one particular data set where they analyze the current market trend and then work on it and then they improve the productivity and they concentrate on that so that uh, you know uh, more number of growth in terms of revenue or uh, team size or product uh, will come uh, best example if i can take uh, the live example will be rapido if you um, if you understand the rapido business uh, even they started before we have uber and ola who are already uh, a big uh clients they already well settled they have very good funding but rapido comes into uh, you know this by picking up one particular uh, you know scenario called um, bike riding because if, uh, when you consider ola uber we have autos and uh, you know cabs but no one introduced bikes even though it is most famous in an other world like asia uh, other parts of asia or europe and and in in, in america and canada uh, we are the largest two wheeler bikes even though we we are not having bike taxi so that is what they pick uh, from the uh, you know uh, data visualization and they pick they concentrate on one particular thing and they introduced called uh, you know bike taxi and they definitely succeed so that is what the this third point deal with like modeling the what if scenario uh, you need to dig down how much you can on the particular data so talking about other parts like data collection mining descriptive analysis uh, these all are the parts of business analytics where you can understand what exactly the data will deal with uh, like if i Uh, take an uh, example of data collection uh, let me take an example of rapido itself so rapido collect all the data or not even not of the customer but also the captains and uh, you know conduct surveys uh, so that they try to understand where exactly and what is the uh, location based data we are standing like 
uh, if suppose in Vishakhapatnam they are getting some hundred rights per hour and they want to improvise that they collect the data they get into uh, data mining like they uh, they initialize the data mining with uh, uh, one particular set called geographical location like they split the data of Vishakhapatnam into several factors like uh, uh, you can uh, you can say Gajwaka, NAD, uh, MDP, MVP and all and then they observe what are the trends and uh, you know customer uh, uh, downloading the app or what was in what time they are uh, onboarding more so that they can give the same information to the captains which are called uh, drivers and they in that way they improve so that uh, like uh, the best example is like uh, morning 8 to 10 that's the main office and school timings where they provide 25 percent of hike to the riders uh, so that they operate more on that particular time so that more riders will uh, get into uh, get into that area more uh, generate um, more orders will generate and th at the same time more profits will come into picture so these two parts uh, is something which is very uh, main uh, in the business analytics Though these are comes into data analyst, uh, analysts, but uh, you know these are the ma major important concepts in any business analytics you deal with, data collection and data mining. The third part which comes under is descriptive analysis. Uh, if I take a best example, okay, uh, let's suppose you got some fever, okay, anyone. Uh, what generally we do is we just go to a medical shop, take some tablets, uh, you know what the chemist. Uh, gives and uh, in case if it is cured within one or two day that's fine but in, in still if you're not then you go to the doctor who is called general surgeon so what he give you is he he gives a description of uh, what exactly you're going through he asks a lot of questions and then uh, give you a, a you know initial uh, treatment in case if that also not uh, you know suffice or not uh, doing good then he will recommend to a specialist of what particular disease so he will do a complete descriptive analysis of your uh, disease uh, by asking questions by asking uh, what what you're going through so in the business analytics itself we ask a lot of questions we uh, ask you know try to pull uh, more data more information from the raw, raw data which we have so that part comes under descriptive analysis and and after that we have some predictive analysis like uh, as i mentioned let me take uh, the same example of rapido we need to predict what exactly coming into the future so i already mentioned like uh, we all we have ula uber as a competitors but they only are going with a caps like four wheelers and three wheelers but they never uh, initialized uh, uh, or introduced the concept called bike taxi uh, which rapido does by using predictive analysis like they uh, they they use the opportunity they uh, you know collect the data they and they see that there is a big opportunity by using bike taxi with uh, any any amount of time or like uh, voluntarily they can do anyone can do students and all by using this predictive analysis they introduce the concept called bike tax so that way these all four topics are very important related to any business analytics and finally it comes like visualization and reporting which uh, like you have all the data you have you clean the data you have a very good understanding of data or any particular uh, uh, raw data or any particular sector you want to go and you visualize it you have a descript, uh, descriptive you have a predictive but you need to visualize and you have to report to the concerned parties or clients or to your business manager so that they approve it and then you can go and work on it so even if you are succeed in these four parameters, if you are not able to prove your skills in visualizing and reporting, so then definitely that will be a fail. Uh, and there is a uh, news uh, uh, you know came into a. I just gone through the LinkedIn that 79% uh, of the projects fail because of this visualization and reporting errors. 
like they have very good understanding of data collection they dig deep into the data uh, they have very good descriptive and uh, predictive analysis but when it comes to visualization and reporting they are failed because uh, they are not putting the information what need to be reviewed or what is important uh, you know to the business manager or the client so that they go ahead and approve so these are the five uh, important parameters of any business analytics uh, which uh, covers most of the part yes i you are saying something so till now any questions all are silent i i can end oh uh, when you, when you give in a rapid example i wanted to give you another example sure 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 uh, we know amazon right uh, when it came into the market uh, into the indian market we are the indians we, we never trust easily right mm -hmm. um, so they came they uh, came into the market with concept of um, uh, pay on delivery right. so then yeah you, you can you can pay after once you once uh, you are once you really received your order and if you think it is good and it is well and it's not damaged it so mm -hmm. pay and delivery they modified into the like like they came into the other another other strategies also that's that's the thing i want to add uh, that's uh, that's a good input vamsi but uh, yeah. the question is uh, he was mentioning uh, the recent articles also told that majority of the pro projects are unable to meet the requirements of the client because of the poor data visualization right mm, yes right that yeah now well, let us walk work backwards okay to make the data visualize uh, to to be visible in a meaningful way you need to have a dashboard am i right yes right. yes if at all dashboard has to be there what are the elements that go into dashboard That is there it. are some, some some elements have to go into the, the dashboard am i right now yes. how do you measure them both descriptive and predictive now predictive is different descriptive uh, uh, data is required data is required uh, you know in multiple forms okay if you fail to pick up proper data you will have improper dashboard Okay, shall I share one thing? Uh, you know, with your permission, uh, my dear friend. Yes, sure, sure, definitely. So, uh, what I mean to say is that I, I, I while talking to, uh, while going through the presentation made by Sisha, there I happen to remind myself about uh, the dashboards uh, where we have desired, designed in the banking industry, where we went on uh, flashing the data. This data, what you're going to see, is uh, from a mail. Uh, you know what I had in the year 2008. Probably you can now go back and see. Wherein using Excel, we built a data uh, dashboard uh, through help of my colleague, uh, you know, Mr. Srikanth. Okay, are you able to see my screen? Yes. Now this leads to the business decisions. What are the thing? How many branches did we open from April 2008 to August 2008? Per month, the right. number of branches. And what the amount of uh, rupees disbursed in the form of loans? Mm -hmm. And how many members did we add? Suddenly, numbers member adding has come down in the month of August. What happened? Right. And why did the we lose customers? You got it. So this is one thing I, I happened to. So if we fail to pick up the proper data sets. My dashboard would be leading to the confusion. So whenever yeah. uh, we are trying to analyze data, as Sesodar has rightly said in the presentation, you must know the elements that go into data analysis, and then pick up those data points by data mining, and both descriptive and also non-descriptive data sets, and then come up with the analysis. Today, the analytical, analytical tools are able to find out uh, uh, 
the uh, uh, data analysis enables to through multiple methods, not only numbers in Excel or uh, uh, any other form of uh, table or array, but also through text. You got it. How many of you have uh, go through Gmail? Everyone. Gmail, you know, free version float some ads to your right side. When you open email. Have you seen that? Yes. Or uh, when you open YouTube, you know, you see one video, other things will come up. Tong, tong, tong recommended this. You may also like. Yes. That is yes. what predict that is what predictive analytics is. So based on your pattern and past history, system will calculate probably you like this. You go to Spotify, you go to Ghana, anything. You know, if I listen to one song from the year 1993, that will pick up well, automatically songs from 90s. Right. If I listen to one singer, uh, same singer songs or same musician songs, same hero songs, tuck, 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 system will throw up. That is the and speed at which yeah, that is predictive analytics. Exactly. Thank you, Sisha. Thank you. Thank you, Sisha. Sorry if I interrupted. No, definitely. That's a very great input. Uh, uh, actually uh, trying to add, but yeah, even if you consider, you know, one, not only single platform, but because it's it's a combination of platforms, even if you search anything in Insta and uh, you go to YouTube, you see the same, uh, you know, videos over there because uh, this all comes under the same like uh, if you open your WhatsApp and three, four days uh, uh, previous, like if you gone through some something uh, related to your favorite actor or uh, sports, you you get to know, you know, see that lot of videos like Sai mentioned will come into uh, like it, it's same works on the same analysis like, uh, OK, this user likes these things so that and you, you can observe same uh, type of ads also thrown into the videos so that uh, you can sign up and more uh, income generate to that particular product. So yeah, that's that's all comes under this parts. Uh, thank you, Sai, for the input. So you, a, any other questions, uh, guys, related to this? If not, we can move to our uh, today's interesting topic, Excel. OK, then I consider as everyone understand uh, in case if anyone hesitate, you can ping me, uh, you know, separately so that definitely I try to uh, you know, solve your qu uh, query. So let me share my screen again. Go ahead. Go ahead. OK, so. So this is something which I already shown you guys uh, uh, the raw data. Uh, this is something I just uh, uh, you know uh, pulled from Kaggle.com, which is a free uh, data sets provider. So so me going to today like me going to introduce you something uh, uh, related to Excel. You know Excel is something which is everyone might gone through. So. Let me ask you guys what you want to understand uh, or where you feel uncomfortable, uh, you know, handling Excel so that I can directly jump into that and I try to resolve that. You know, if I go, I just uh, go ahead and introduce this is wrap text or merge uh, conditional formatting. Everyone knows, right? So you can share some of your personal experience where you can you felt like that this is not something which I not able to do so that I'll definitely try to uh, you know, uh, perform that operations using this Excel sheet. You, you guys have any? Like just uh, Suvarna mentioned about macros. So, so I just add here. Uh, so we'll we'll definitely discuss about this macro. Like that, anyone uh, having any issues uh, with the menu items like page layout or formulas bar or related to data, something which you you guys didn't understand. So everyone knows good Excel. So uh, like uh, Suvarna asked me about uh, macros, let 
you go ahead and you know uh, do that first so suvarna so what is your exact query like what you want to know about the macros sir uh, can you explain how to create macros and how to use and when to use them definitely so so uh, before just going to create so what what is your understanding on macro uh like it's type of a thing which is which we can use any time um uh, without uh, uh i'm sorry without uh, writing a long list we can directly use it uh, by using the name of the macro okay so let me just uh, rephrase it uh, so that yeah whatever you said is correct so macros is something which we used when when the operations are uh, need to be done continuously for example let me pull some sales dashboard or uh, the lnd team which they do they monthly pull some analytics reports every month the report will be common uh, just as some employees will add or some information will be add but the pulling of report will be common uh, so every month they do they can't go and you know uh, do the same manual job so instead of that you just create one particular raw table and then you just create a macro and then you run it every month so that you get a same report every month without any manual efforts which uh, might take 30 to 40 minutes of your time so let me just go ahead and do that some uh, operations okay so this is some raw data which i have um, so i'll just what i'll do is first uh, to you know create a macro you need a developer tab uh, if you just open your excel button this will not appear uh, directly for that you need to change some settings like you just need to go to file then you need to go to the options and, uh, and then you in, if you in the x advanced section i think you might have a developer one second in general section somewhere you have a developer sec, uh, button and then you need to add in the developer button and there you see record a macro right so let me record a macro and show you some the operations once so i'm just uh, starting the re uh, record macro okay and once you click on macro it will ask a uh, name just i'm giving you like uh, lnd reports and i'm just putting some shortcut key like a control uh, q and that's it and you can add some descriptive this is uh, monthly lnd reports so so every month like lnd what they do is they select the data okay okay they copy it and they just paste here uh, they analyze that uh, what is the income flow they just do some some calculations of this particular data uh, in the way same they do for children's and they uh, also make an average of the income stream let's suppose this just an example this is something uh, lnd do i'm just stopping the macro okay this is something which they did in march so in april let's suppose they want to do the same similar operations because they already already created data they have a data and uh, let me just remove this i'm just deleting this one i have a similar kind of data i'll go just go to macros i'll select lnd devops and then i select run okay if you see whatever operations i did in you know for five minutes i get to know all the information similarly in two seconds this is just an example i shown you can do multiple uh, functions uh, with the data and you you just save it with the uh, name and and then you can run the macro you understand uh, suvarna uh, i'll uh, like uh, any doubts in this uh, i understood sir i think i have to do some practice on it otherwise i'll forget 
Yeah, and definitely. I think practice. yeah. We have a lot of videos available, but this is just an example I shown. You can try with multiple functions like some if we look up such look up uh, match functions index cases. You try to create own project and then try to you know initiate. OK, sure. Yeah. Sir. yeah. So that's one uh, we covered macros like this. Uh, you guys have any questions like any doubts or. Just. Shall I go ahead? What are I prepared? OK, in case you guys know uh, more about Excel, so I'll throw some questions. So let me test your Excel knowledge. OK. I'll just paste this. Mm. Okay, so the first question. So what is the type of this uh, particular data? Like you, you see this, this is an income which is in uh, you know dollar sign, but uh, I want to be it in uh, Indian rupee. Because I'm in India and I want to uh, show it is in rupees. So anyone can guide me where I can go ahead and change this one. We can go to home. OK. In that we'll uh... Uh, below general, there are some options. Right. Yeah, here currency income. OK. So when it's you select changed. this currency, yeah, it's changed. Uh, may I know the reason why it's changed? Can anyone explain apart from Sovarna? That's the column styling you have applied for the numbers. I applied styling for income like uh, this is currency, but how uh, how this uh, you know system knows that I am dealing with rupees, not dollars. Because of the number system. OK. Uh, fine, then if uh, let me just do the same thing. Uh, this is something which I downloaded from uh, a, a website, which is in completely US format. Like if you see the dates or it is in miles and this is in dollars. So if I want to change it, I'll simply go ahead and if I select currency, it is changing in rupee. So so when I can you, uh, you know, explain what you, if you know the reason why it is changing to rupee? Uh, sir, even I thought that it is because of the number system. So the original reason lies here because when you go ahead, uh, you see a date and time uh, management, right? There you go ahead and select India uh, instead of US. If you go ahead okay. and change that part to US, it automatically converts into uh, US dollars. So it automatically changes depends upon the location you are selecting. So Excel has that or not not Excel. Every software has that capability. So that's the main reason why it's changing from you know rupee. So that's okay. one part. OK, and uh, we have a, a, sh uh, a shortcut like if you just select control shift four, it's automatically change. To Indian rupee even to the dates also. OK. So any other questions? I have one quick question, Sushita. Yes, please, Sai. Yes, Sai, please, you can. I think he's not on call. 
sorry you know the my headset uh, button was wrongly pressed okay if i go back you know to the same data set where you mm -hmm. have currency income income mm -hmm. that is shown uh, before uh, converting to rupees what was okay. the amount yes uh, just it's 40000 Say. So essentially the number remains same. The uh, $40,000 actually means something else in INR. It is not converting that. Uh, the, I thought for a moment it is a conversion. No, 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 no. You need... <laughs> Thank you. No, Thank, no. Thanks for the clarity. Yeah. We have an ad uh, advanced uh, formulas for that where you can go ahead and change it. Uh, mm. It was just uh, to represent the data, how it looks like. OK, uh, fine, fine. Yeah, so. For an example, if you're downloading the data, uh, you are in US ship timings. Uh, the date will be like month, date, and time. But if you mm -hmm. are doing in Indian operations, that completely uh, you know confuses the person who is doing Indian. So EDM, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Uh, any other questions like uh, related to data which you want to know? I don't want to you know go one by one and. You, even as I already mentioned, I don't want to go in a flow in a theory based classes. You ask questions, I try to answer so that everyone get some information. So you all know about the data tab uh, in an Excel. OK, let uh, try this then. Uh, So I have this data, uh, just a random data, and uh, if I'm just pasting it here, uh, it looks like this. I want uh, this to be in a uh, tabular format. If you do manually, or how, how you do is just you type this, then you tab is a. So can you someone explain how I can do with using data tabs? I think we can select from text or CSV or we can use space uh, like we are we are separating each word by using space so we can uh, uh, mention space as a delimiter. OK, uh, for that, what what is the option you have to go from text or CSV? This one? Yeah. So this is something which we can import the data. I'm not let suppose I'm not saving this. I'm just deleting. OK. So from where okay. you will get import. I'm just selecting it. Ask for you to import the data. I'm not I'm don't I don't have that data. So for that we use text to columns where if you see this is the wonderful option the Excel has where you can uh, break the sentences. You uh, get the data from Notepad. You get the data from Word Excel. You can break it to your uh, you know additions like if I select the delimited here and uh, select the next so based upon the options you select it would automatically divide the you know information like if I select the space here so this will automatically create a table and then it will looks like this something like this has multiple options like if I select the same data here and uh, let me change it if I select the same data here and if I go to text to columns and uh, I select the fixed width here and then select next based upon the text I selected, I can do the same thing. So it will automatically consider everything in a sim similar uh, format. In the same way. Uh, so what is the uh, function we have to do to remove duplicates? Any idea? Anyone? Conditional formatting. Conditional formatting. Who said that? I am not. OK. Then I mean uh, you want us to highlight or remove the duplicates? No, I'm, I just want to remove the duplicates in the income section. So you can go to the data okay. function same. And you can select the remove duplicates. Yeah. Suppose you have. Uh, 
here you can see we have some display settings i just uh, compatibility i select the remove duplicates here I'll expand the section and then remove the duplicates. So it will ask a question that uh, if you have any data headers and if you want to select in one particular or complete column. So I'll select only income. So let me just select the income only and then. OK. So that remove all the duplicates. OK, uh, can anyone explain what exactly the data validation is used for? It's fine if you, even if it is wrong, it's fine. Any idea you might have because when I was asking question, you uh, you are saying you know all Excel, so we're just trying to learn and everything here. If you know, you can explain so that I try to uh, you know correct it in my way or explain uh, you in a better. I think uh, it is easy to validate the data that we enter in the columns or rows. So if you want to uh, enter only integers, then we can mm -hmm. we can validate the data. And so that's the one of the I think that is the reason. That's one of the thing, but we can do multiple things like. Uh, uh, let's suppose. I want to here I have an income, children, education, occupation, right? So if I just filter it here. I see the filter. Uh, this one is only uh, five options. OK, and let me just go ahead and. Create a data validation here. I select a list and the list will be. This and I select OK. So if you open here, you can see a uh, beautiful options. It will give you all the information in a filter type. Like uh, in a separate sheet, like if you select the occupation, you can select clerical, you can select manual by using this particular list. Not only the list, but you can select decimal point, date, time, length, everything under data validation. And you can e even give a beautiful input message uh, whenever you uh, select that part and also an error alert in case if you are selecting wrong. OK, so that's the part of data validation. Uh, OK, uh, can anyone explain what is this group and ungroup or subtotal? OK, so let me explain. So when you select a group option, uh, it will ask for the rows. So let me just uh, click OK. And if I select some rows here, let's suppose I'm selecting these particular rows. OK, and I'm just showing show details and I'm going to group it. OK, and now if you select this minus sign, see all the other parts are hidden and you can group this. Uh, for example. Let me say. I'll make this one very easy. I have some clerical part where I want to group all the clerical information in one particular way. So I'll just all select all clerical. I select group and then I can group all the clerical in single. See, so when I select this plus tab, I can see all the clericals. In the similar way, you can select for management. In, uh, in the similar way, you can select for manual also. That's what the group or ungroup will do. Shridhar, what's the use? So yeah, that's a nice question. Let's suppose in in L and D, you deal with a lot of uh, people, right? Uh, exactly. uh, with a different uh, kind of sectors like dot net or testing uh, and uh, you know business analytics or somewhat uh, Java people and all. So what you can do is you have a multiple number of uh, lists, all the people who are dealing with different uh, categories. Uh, you are in a 
uh, call with all the leaders and you want to uh, showing some data related to all the Java .NET and business analytics. So when they see uh, the information, you know, no need to scroll down every time uh, when you are explaining to each person. You can group all these uh, by the name. Like if you select this one, uh, for example, clerical, you can just minimize it by uh, use, uh, pressing one button and you can uh, go ahead and uh, you know give information about dot net and then you can minimize or maximize uh, to the person so that it will categorize to only one person and it will be look good when you are presenting something okay yeah I mean, like I, I'm just trying to explain in in general way, but we have yeah. a lot of other functionalities. Uh, if we have a very big data sets, we can do that. Okay. Okay. I'm not <laughs> getting any questions. So, guys, like any questions related to this? Like any any doubts related? Sure, sure that should it be sorted before uh, the data before grouping get. Will it be right. sorted or uh, we have to sort it? I mean, uh, sort in the sense of uh, like supposing it, you wanted to uh, clerical, so the data mm -hmm. should be in a continuous uh, order or uh, we need to sort it before. Like uh, supposing in uh, sixth column there is clerical, and right. again uh, in 32 uh, row there is clerical. Right. So right. that's why. Yes, yeah, you need to sort by using just filter option where you can do that by A to Z or Z to A. Then uh, you can select the rows or if you want a particular number of rows, then you can uh, do it without sorting also. Just it, it works with uh, only grouping like uh, you want to show something uh, to any business leader or manager uh, with one particular kind of data for that only it will use. So okay, yeah, for, you. for your question, you need to sort it before grouping. Yeah, thank you, Shashad. Right. Okay, any questions related to data or preview or view button? Are you aware with all these things? I can expect questions from freshers. Because you might go on through Excel in your projects or a recent, you know, things. Okay, uh, so we'll, we'll try to test your knowledge then. So let's suppose I have a uh, data here. Okay, let me copy this data. Like, uh, for example, uh, let's take Praveena is doing something and uh, she's in call and she want to, you know, take information and she, in the call in a hurry, just she uh, writing all the information wherever she has the rows and columns. OK, now what I want is after my call, I want to, uh, you know, put all this data in a put a column in a column or in a vertical format. Uh, can someone uh, tell me the uh, how can you do without using manual? We have a uh, nice uh, new functionalities introduced in Excel, which we can do it. Any idea, anyone? OK, so this is something which we can do like we can uh, write to call and select all the data and then. Because we have a blanks to select. And this is the data you get all the in a vertical part. This is something like an Excel trick. We have a lot of tricks uh, like this formulas. Uh, in the similar ways. Uh, second thing like uh, this is something which is sales normally do like we have a three locations Visa, Hyderabad and USA and you want to sort out uh, like you selected a Vizag and you have a lot of number of names, but I want all the information to be shown here. Uh, any idea what we can do so that without manually inputting all this information, you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, fill these one. Anyone? At least uh, you can, you guys can give it a try. Okay. 
okay then so it's very easy uh, so what you have to do is you just select this uh, okay i'm sorry one second Okay, let me type again. So, um, by Zag, I have uh, Pravina Sai. Okay. Hyderabad, we have Shri Chir. And in US, yeah, we have uh, Ram. So you just need to press function call, key called phi, phi, okay? And uh, instead of the selecting special, you just select here one second. You just select this, press F5, okay? Okay, then special, then go to blanks and then type. Uh, this is not working here. I think this function is not working. Now, what I have noticed the uh, session there is that mm -hmm. you know uh, online version web version uh, mm -hmm. some functionalities some functions are not working. Yes. So your uh, desktop uh, you know uh, app will have all the features that are there. This is uh, almost tenth or fifteenth time I am coming across with this. Uh, I've been struggling also. Later uh, I insisted and wanted to have the desktop app, and that's how we are solving the some of the issues what you're facing. I don't right. know. Microsoft uh, is known for that, releasing the product and then uh, trying to perfect that. It happened earlier also in 2000, uh, before 13 edition or you know, prior editions. And the, if you play filter beyond 5000 rows, it was not working. Uh, obviously, like if I compare, this is my, uh, uh, you know, a desktop version where if you if anyone having uh, using this excel version you might uh, not see in this group and group or subtotal in your in your mm -hmm. uh, web web versions in the similar way in the review section also in the developer tab also you don't have all these options in in the uh, web version so yeah mm -hmm. definitely we have some difficulties when you are dealing with uh, where mainly the web version is just a basic excel type where you can uh, go with uh, minimum functionalities. So, so when it comes to you... macros, I have something called as automate. Right. So where... to write a script yes. and and then you know make stable form, all these things are there. Yes. So still, still I'm uh, unable to navigate this comfortably as right. I, I was used to old versions. <laughs> Automate, uh, yes, uh, that's a good question. Automate is something where you need to go to. Uh, it's like a developer uh, tool type. You need to write some script on that. Uh, mm -hmm. That comes under Power Query, Power Pivots, and all. Uh, mm -hmm. Then you, when you implement it, uh, you know you can run uh, the the same thing in a uh, in an Excel. Like it will be useful for a lot of if the data has more than one lakh rows or uh, large data sets. I uh, wish we handle good. that kind of data. <laughs> if you guys yeah. are interested, definitely I'll pull some data and I'll show again. Yeah, well, my system will cry. My processor will cry. It's not an issue. If you are installed in uh, desktop version, we can do it. I, we will, I would like to know more from you on this. I'm interested. Sure, sure. So actually uh, what happened is like I was expecting a question so that, you know, I thought 
let's make it as you know one to one sessions uh, not kind just in a theory mode but uh, uh, people are not having questions that's fine so again any any questions you might feel uh, uncomfortable while doing an excel uh, so that uh, i'll just try to do an, uh, take an example and explain you you might go on through a lot of a uh, lot of data sets where, while you're in projects or in college uh, anywhere you where you feel in uh, you know, uncomfortable by doing the data if you are silent i'll definitely understand that you uh, guys know everything can you explain about pivot tables sure who asked this subani ah okay subani so so okay so let me go ahead for example let me uh, take this uh, you know raw excel as an example if i want to show to my manager okay pivot table is something which uh, gives you uh, more understanding of the data in a data visualization for example uh, if i go and select an insert and i want to insert a pivot table here i select it from table and when the information comes okay i'll select a new worksheet okay and the location i'll definitely select like this and see so all the information which is mentioned in this particular row is shown here so if i select any gender related to rows okay the values are like uh, income if i take an example okay and uh, in column if i want to mention an education this is something very, very good example for hr analytics where they want to know how much percentage of male to female ratio is there so by using this particular information we can insert a very wonderful charts which are shown here like these and i can show or represent my manager if you see the access titles the, the data labels here uh the data table so you know instead of showing all the raw information i can show these to my manager or the client in a data visualization where they can understand that these are something which are uh, related to bachelors these are some related to data of graduate or uh, this is something which data related to high school in the similar way we have another kind of data like if i go ahead insert and uh, you know i select a line chart this gives you more information on line chart and you can understand the patterns i can add a more charts here the data labels will be added uh, you know if i have some error bars that one also added so that they can give comparison of uh, the degrees which i have and you can also filter out even if you want only one particular male record see or any female record so pivot table is mainly useful for this purpose can i add one point to sheshadar here yes please yeah can you go to the graphs insert graphs mm -hmm, okay that is recommended charts uh, total total if you look at the charts okay you want to uh, go to this yeah, one no, no, yeah total charts total charts you you press here all, all how many types of charts are there we have a lot of charts like uh, <laughs> what chart we have you <laughs> can select in particular we have no, maps no, no, here no, no. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what that's what I know. See, in uh, when you are working on data visualization, you must know which type of chart to be used for what type of data. Right. Okay. Otherwise, you will end up having a chart, the colorful one, attractive, but mm -hmm. it would not meet anything. The criteria is not going to. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, if I am comparing income for per household for the last five years. Mm -hmm. And if I use, uh, uh, no, go to income only. Forget about uh, gen gender, income, education. You remove education. I'll remove. Okay. Yeah, only gender and income. Okay. And okay. if I use uh, uh, 
fiber chart this is for stand alone one year is okay but over a period of 10 years how many pie charts i have to create right it is foolish so i will select a line graph correct so year after year it is going up or coming down it will depict so okay. for this so for single mm -hmm. year you should never use a line chart line chart correct line chart should be for periodicity what we call as over a period of time year on year quarter on quarter comparison over a month to this month all these things okay it is something for the duration you should remember that you know line is uh, uh, nothing but uh, something which is uh, uh, showing comparison between the time periods bar right. graph bar graph can also be used but a line graph wins over here when it comes right. to bar, bar graph it is more of a volume more than uh two to three types right so the, this bar graph cannot something else and when it comes to maps where do you think maps can be used anybody can answer this yes maps is also there no yeah map is also there no why can't i use map because there is nothing called any geographical <laughs> uh, things which i selected if i select a region yeah, here uh, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. Okay. Let me put reason here, and then, then go for then go for map. I'll select the rows and I select reason here. Mm -hmm. And if then, I select maps now, okay. Uh, I don't have an access. It is a paid form. Format, paid okay? form, yeah, obviously. Okay. Now uh, there's something called a spider chart. Spider chart. I never, uh, never gone through that. You can see radar. Radar is also called a spider spider chart. Right, but uh, how? Uh, this... Radar, radar, radar. Yes, yes, yes. Spider web. Yeah. So we call it spider chart. Uh, where do you think we should use this? So uh, this, this, and uh, no, I don't, I don't expect answers from anyone right away. Uh, do your homework and. Uh, show your answers and i will announce a prize whoever is coming back to say so and demonstrate you know this is where my i will be using radar chart especially i i'm only uh, talking about this i'm not going to talk about line or anything uh Sishadar, you are the yep. facilitator i leave right. it to you let us throw up a challenge to our friends whoever comes to you first right okay and demonstrates you should be satisfied not me right right why radar is used, where it is being used, and all. Uh, please announce the name. Well, uh, there will be a surprise element from LND. That's a nice uh, thing. Uh, thank you, Sai. <laughs> yeah, anytime. So I think I already had some, gave some int also. So mm -hmm. you can, you know, visualize that. And uh, yeah, it all depends on what you have. Like, as I initially mentioned, this, this is nothing like I just go through like theory and you can answer. No, when you come up with a lot of questions, then we can deal with a you know, session like this. So absolutely right, absolutely right. Because when you come with a questions, live data, then uh, understanding will be more instead of I just prepare something and you, you know, put you uh, in front of it. So we can have one more session like this uh, whenever Sandhya uh, initiate. Uh, I definitely recommend everyone to come up with some questions on Excel. Even if it is an advance, it's fine. Uh, I try to, you know, dig more and come in case if I don't know, but when you come up with a lot of question, then we can have a, you know, uh, interaction basis presentation so that you ask me answer or I'll ask or you can answer. Uh, type of session. So yes, I agree. Shishadar, it's a great initiative from your side and guys, uh, I call them flower parts quite often. You know, we don't expect flower parts in that any training session, virtual or physical. Right. So and uh, you know, Pravina, uh, 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 the number of people who logged in are on 14, out of which you, me, Seshod are on one side of the table. Uh, that actually means there are hardly 11 people. 
So we need to figure out way forward where uh, we'll be having online means it should be minimum of 25. 